Welcome to Tweety's Take. Today we're readdressing what's going on in Maricopa County, revisiting some things, and then catching you up to date with where they're at now. So in Maricopa County, there has been a back and forth over the election. You have the Senate that are pushing for a forensic audit, and you have the Board of Supervisors who are saying no, we, we really don't want to do a forensic audit. We, we have proven that everything has been secure and safe, so we are just going to keep on pushing back as much as we can legally. So the Board of Supervisors, they have had meeting after meeting with legal counsels. They have uh, just really put up so many roadblocks that at some point you think, really? Can we not just move forward with this? What What's the holdup? Um, now the Senate has has been pushing, but I'm not sure if they've been pushing as much as they can. It's almost like they've allowed the Board of Supervisors to uh, to push back and have allowed that resistance to occur. The Senate has all the legal power power that they need, even as ruled by a judge, to um, to conduct a forensic audit. They can have the machines, they can have the ballots, they can have everything, keep everything as secure as, as it needs to be under election rules, and they can conduct a forensic audit and then release the report. It's, it's legally in their right to do so. However, the Board of Supervisors have been contesting this time and time again. Uh, every single time the Senate wants to receive the ballots, Board of Supervisors will say, we can't do that, or they will say, okay, where should we deliver them? And then when the Senate doesn't get back to them, they load them into a truck, uh, almost as if they want to break the chain of custody. It, it's, it's so interesting to see this pushback between both of the parties, the Senate and the Board of Supervisors. Uh, it's like a, a, a game that they're playing, tag back. Now, the Senate... Uh, finally has, they, they have told the supervisors where they want the ballots to, to go. So they have a facility and they're going to hold this audit. But the main complaint that I would see coming from the board of supervisors uh, from here on out is that somewhere along the lines, the chain of custody was broken. Now, this is interesting uh, because if you look at it, the Board of Supervisors, they are the ones who, who determine whether or not the ballots are going to maintain that chain of custody. If the chain of custody is broken, that is going to be the Board of Supervisors' fault. But they will blame it on the Republicans and frame it in a way that it, it seems as if the Senate has broken the chain of custody because of their requests. And the, the Board of Supervisors will say, well, we had to follow it. So one, one thing that I would look for is that accusation to be made around this, right? Because if they can't attack the process that's being done, they're going to attack the, uh, the, the chain of custody because that's very important. If the chain of custody is broken, then the forensic audit really uh, is going to be questionable. It, it, you can't trust it at the same, uh, you, you just can't trust it because you don't know what happened to the ballots along the way. So maintain the chain of custody, have the forensic audit, and, and this audit is going to be held from the 22nd, starting on the 22nd. So that is eight days from now. So on the 22nd, they're going to start this forensic audit. They have four different, four different firms that have joined together to do this. Um, and with those four different firms, they have come out with a statement or, or uh, I believe the leader or the owner of Cyber Ninjas, which is one of those firms who has been accused of being a pro-Trump supporter and everything. He said, look, it, it doesn't matter if I believe Trump. It doesn't matter what my bias is. What matters is that this audit is done in in a way that's recognized by experts to be safe, secure, and responsible, it, it, as well as not throwing it into any false lighting, right? You have to just lay out the facts and let the chips fall where, where they lie. So I, I believe that as long as this is a, as long as they conduct the audit professionally, 
there won't be any issues. They can attack them for being pro-Trump or, or what have you f for all they like. Uh, but in the end, what matters is, was the forensic audit done in a, uh, in a correct manner that's up to, up to standards? And as they're accredited firms, then they shouldn't have any issue doing this, right? They've done it for government agencies in the past. They, they will continue to do it for agencies in the future. Imagine if they did not do good audits, the type of business that, that they would lose out on after that. So they're going to do everything they can to make sure that they stick within the lines. Um, and, and thankfully, they're going to look at all the ballots. They're going to look at everything that happened uh, with the machines and whatnot. And we'll, we'll see where everything lands after that. Of course, expect a pushback from the media. Expect a pushback as soon as it starts because they're going to be attacking this as much as they can, even though they should know by now that if they take attention away from it, as in if they don't focus on it at all, then it doesn't receive press time. But instead, they, they have determined that they need to attack the character of people so that when results come out, they can discredit them off the bat. Anyway, I wanted to update you on that. Maricopa County is going to roll forward, finally, with the audit on the 22nd. I feel like I've been speaking about this for months on end, um, but it, it does look like we have a date set and there hasn't been pushback against that so far. Again, I'll update you on that if that changes, but that's where, that's where it's at right now. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this update, please like the video, share it with others. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already as well to support my content. Thank you for watching. My name is Addison Tweedy and this is Tweedy's Take. And I will see you next time. Yabesha.